Hi, this is Gary Brinkman, Pioneer Agronomist in Central Michigan. Today I'd like to visit with you about the risks of planting corn ultra early into cold soils. Planters have been running despite the fact that soil temperatures have been fluctuating in Michigan between 38 and 46 degrees for the last 10 days. That's cold. But Brinkman, soil conditions are ideal. And you tell me that soil conditions trump 50 degree soil temperatures when deciding when to plant. That's true, I do say that. But I also say to evaluate the three to five day weather forecast and make sure seed will not absorb frigid cold water by being placed in frigid cold soils. So how can I improve my odds of success when planting ultra early? Talk to your Pioneer sales rep and reference the Pioneer stress emergence scores when planting early in cold, wet soils. This score is a measure of the genetic ability to emerge in cold, wet soils. Here's an example of how understanding the stress emergence score of your Pioneer products may help you make better choices when planting in cold soils. This study helps to demonstrate the importance of the timing of cold stress. In this example, two hybrids with stress emergence scores of four, which is below average, and a stress emergence of seven, which is above average, were allowed to germinate in rolled towels for zero, 24, or 48 hours at 77 degrees. This is seen on the x-axis. The hybrids were then subjected to a stress of melting ice for three days and allowed them to recover for four days at 77 degrees. Hybrids were evaluated for the number of normal seedlings reported as percent germination as given on the y-axis of the graph. Both hybrids showed significant stand loss when the cold stress was imposed immediately, that is at zero hours. However, the hybrid with a higher stress emergence score had a higher percent germination than the hybrid with a lower stress emergence score. Germination rates for both hybrids were greatly improved if allowed to uptake water and germinate at warmer temperatures for at least 24 hours before the ice was added. Data suggests that planting just before a stress event, such as a cold rain or snow, can cause significant stand loss. The chances of establishing a good stand are greatly improved if hybrids are allowed to germinate at least one day in warmer, moist conditions before a cold stress event. Also, choosing a hybrid with a higher stress emergence score can help moderate stand losses when planting into very cold, wet soils. Every year we validate the Pioneer stress emergence scores in the field by planting research trials ultra early. This year, the Michigan Corteva research team planted the stress emergence location on April 6th. So it's gone through some seriously cold temperatures. So here's an example of how I would use the stress emergence score to increase my odds of success when planting into stressful conditions. I would review my hybrid package and target hybrids with stress emergence scores of six to plant first. Then select hybrids in your product package with a stress emergence score of five. Historically, these hybrids have given us excellent stands when planted early in cold soils. And prior to April 25th through 28th, with a forecast of cold temperatures accompanied by cold rain or snow, I probably would wait for a warmer forecast to plant hybrids with a stress emergence score of four. So, do I need to have 50 degree soil temperatures before I plant a kernel of corn early? Obviously not, but consider the risks and the rewards. Number one, one of the advantages of planting early is I'm choosing to plant in ideal soil conditions. 
That means little to no soil compaction, which should translate into the potential for a more robust root system. Number two, never, never be tempted to plant early in untiled fields. Sorry, no exceptions to that rule. Number three, check the three to five day forecast. Ideally, I would like to have a weather forecast that leaves my soil temperatures between 45 and 50 degrees. Number four, always select hybrids with higher stress emergent scores to minimize some of the stress associated with ultra early planting. And number five, don't get in a hurry. It's still early. Next time, I'll review some of the potential injury symptoms that may result from planting into cold soils. Until then, this is Gary Brinkman, Pioneer Agronomist in Central Michigan. Have a great day. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.